All right, guys, Mad Viking back. This Sunday, I got another pay per view, Battleground, and this is my predictions. Um, of course, this is a kickoff show pre match. Uh, these guys have had like how many pre show matches, and they've all been like two minute crap fests. I know uh, Dillinger's wrestled Aiden on TV a few times, and it's been what, one minute beatdowns or whatever. I, uh, I don't know. I guess this is supposed to be Dillinger's feud, but how is it a feud when you win every match? <laughs> I mean, so I mean, uh, it's kind of pointless. Uh, I guess it's because they just Dillinger's new and they want to do something with him. And technically, so is Aiden English. You just haven't seen him for the first year that he was on the roster. So um, I don't think this one's hard to predict. It's going to be Aiden. I mean, <laughs> Ty Dillinger over Aiden English. Uh, maybe, maybe just maybe this time they might actually get a five minute match, but who knows? Whatever. And I'm not talking about five minutes with the ring entrances and, you know, all that other jazz. I'm talking about actual wrestling time. But, uh, I'm going to pick the new guy, Ty Dillinger, over Aiden English. All right. Well, next match on the card, they don't have a pick for this. They have an actual video is going to be Sami Zayn versus Mike Kanellis. In the you keep bumping into me, I keep bumping into you match. Uh, they're calling it a rematch. Of course, it's a rematch from SmackDown. But uh, really, I guess it's just maybe the beginning of a grudge match. I don't know, a grudge a feud. You can see all the, this is all the stupid times they've run into each other. Uh, that's really the only reason they're fighting. <laughs> um, taking it that it's uh, Mike Bennett's second match and first pay-per-view match. Uh and the way that Sami Zayn gets treated in the company, I'm not going to take it uh, that uh, Sami Zayn comes out on top. So uh, I'm just going to straight up say Mike Kanellis, I still hate saying that name, beats Sami Zayn. Next match on the card is a women's five-way elimination match involving Tamina. Natalia, <laughs> Charlotte Flair, Lucky Lana, and uh, my future wife, Becky Lynch. Uh, Lana, once again, what is this, her second, third straight pay-per-view. Uh, being in, in prime match, too. Somebody's high on that girl. But uh, anyway, the five-way elimination match it goes all the way down five to the last one. And the winner being... Going on to SummerSlam to fight Naomi for the Women's Championship uh, title of SmackDown. Um, hmm. There's a lot of rumors going around. And I don't want to address them right now because I didn't make my last news video. I wanted to bust this out first. So I'm not going to speak on that. Um, and if any of that is true... Well, I'm not even going to speculate because then you're going to get an idea. Um, let's just say this. Tamina... Not happening. Uh, the only way to have Lana, the only way it happens is if uh, your new girlfriend helps you win the match. And I don't know. That's the only reason I can figure out what that storyline's about with uh, Tamina here making eyes, goo goo eyes at Lana all of a sudden. Because uh, she's, she's going to be. Lana did have an enforcer gimmick on NXT on the house shows. She had them with a few different girls. Uh, so maybe that's where she's going with this. Maybe she wins the title and Tamina becomes her bodyguard. Um, not, the, not, the, not that she'd win the title. She'd win the match. But I'm not predicting her to win the match. I still kind of wish Natalia would win something here. But I'm sorry, honey. I just don't think it's going to happen. Um, really, in my eyes, it should be Becky Lynch. Or Charlotte Flair, but Charlotte Flair's had so much handed to her in the last year. God, I keep like, yeah, I want to book, I'm booking with my heart, not, not the way it's going to probably be. And it's probably going to be Charlotte Flair. Just like I said, she's been given so much. But, uh, I don't know how long her future is in the company. They can squeeze, uh, somebody told me she was 36, and I swear I looked it up, and that was a while ago. So if that's true, you know, 
she doesn't have any kids from what I understand. How long are you going to wrestle? And I think that's why they gave her the world now because she's Flair's kid. And it's going to be Flair's only kid that ever makes it into wrestling. This is his last kid. The last kid that's tried it anyway. So, you know, they're giving her the world, giving her a legacy. That's why I'm going to say she wins. Next match on the card is Shinsuke Nakamura versus Baron Corbin. Uh, this match potentially could be good. I'm still not exactly high on Baron. We've just seen Baron pretty much just destroy guys because of his push. Um, he's got some skill, but I don't know at what level yet. I, like I said, I just can't back him. Nakamura's an all-star. Um, unless he's going to sell like a, you know, like Ric Flair for this guy for Baron. I don't know how this match will go. Um, Nakamura's in the middle of a pretty damn good push, but, but, uh, I shouldn't say, yeah, but Baron's in the middle of a supposed push. <laughs> so how is this going to go in my eyes? I think it's going to be Nakamura, but, uh, this one's, like I said, it's hard to say. Uh, I guess this is... Uh, yeah, I'm just... Nakamura wins. I'm not going to speculate anymore. Uh, I could go on for probably five minutes, but I, uh, I'm not. I'm just going to say Nakamura wins this one. Next match on the card is AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens for the United States strap. Probably the best-looking title left on the scene in the WWE. Um, rumor was Kevin Owens only dropped that title AJ Styles because he was hurt and he was taking some time off. But has he taken any time off since AJ Styles has won that belt? No. So I don't know if he's just working through the pain. And if he is, it wouldn't make any sense. Why would they make him drop that title? He was supposed to have quite the lengthy run with it. So that's why, like I said, I'm a little confused as to why AJ won it because Owens never disappeared. Um, not that I'm saying AJ shouldn't win it. This at least keeps AJ hot in the fans' eyes. He's won now, you know, a, a secondary title, his second title so far in the WWE. Uh, uh, and it keeps it, like I said, it keeps his momentum going. Neither of these guys are suffering mom momentum problems. That's for damn sure. But um, this... Should be a great match. This one I'm really looking forward to. This should be a barn burner, as uh, AJ, AJ, as JR calls it. Um, and if it's not, I'm going to be thoroughly disappointed. We shouldn't be robbed at pay-per-views of great matches from people that we know that can do it. I mean, Kevin Owens can wrestle, quote-unquote, a five-star match with a paper bag. Or a broomstick, that's what it is. <laughs> so, you know, this should not be a stinker. But it's hard to predict. So I'm just going to say uh, AJ retains. This is really a very large card for a pay-per-view. It's kind of unusual. So I think there's going to be a couple of very short matches. Uh... But the next match on the card is the Usos, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, versus the Getting Old Day. New Day is fresh on the scene on SmackDown, and of course they want the tag team titles to pad their legacy. But uh, in my eyes, they're, they just had the belts too damn long. Too damn long. Um... <sighs> Granted, they were only doing it to break Demolition's record because Demolition's suing the WWE, but they, it just went on too long. Um, and I don't think fans are ready to see them in another lengthy t uh, title run. Just not yet. Because um, as this feud's going on, there's nothing else going on in the SmackDown tag team division. You don't see anything. Um and it's kind of hurting the brand in my eyes that way. SmackDown was using, utilizing just about everybody, but that seemed to have dropped off in the last few weeks. And now it's getting into that like raw thing where they just focus on the champions and the contenders. And 
Uh, I don't know. I don't want to see SmackDown win these titles yet. I mean, SmackDown. I don't want to see New Day win these titles yet. I just don't. I kind of want this feud to end, to tell you the truth. If the Usos retain after this pay-per-view, they really, at best, could only squeeze one more pay-per-view match out of it. And I don't even, I'm not even sure I want to see it again. And they probably will if the next one's SummerSlam. But um, I'm just going to say the Usos retain, and they should. Old John Cena, yep, old. He's starting to show his age. Versus Rusev Maska in a flag versus flag on a pole match. Oh, we haven't really seen in a, a lot. Of, I shouldn't say a lot of these. We really haven't seen this match since um, the Attitude Era, era with, uh, what is it, Team Canada versus Team USA. We used to see quite a bit of those. Not that they were, like, super memorable or anything, but maybe I'm wrong. It's just, you know, that was almost 20 years ago. <laughs> but, uh, man, I can't get over how old John Cena is looking. All right. <sighs> we all know how this is going to end. I don't even need to get into it. Superman's going to beat Rusev, just like he's done every other time. Rusev, I don't know if he's still being punished because he cut his hair. Oh, no! Um, <sighs> Rusev deserves a push, and um, Jinder Mahal should be thanking uh, Rusev because that was supposed to be Rusev's push. Um, but obviously they can't just have Rusev beat well, they could. They could have Rusev beat John Cena here. And uh, it would certainly elevate him. It would freshen up the main event scene. Um, but unless something dastardly happens, which I don't see happening because Rusev is no longer aligned with the gender, uh, Lana's not with him. Who would help him beat John Cena? Of course, John Cena is going to win. So that's my, sh that's my call. All right, the last... And final match on the card, Jinder Mahal, SmackDown World Champion versus Randy. This is the end of the feud, Orton, in a Poonani prison match. Yes, the Punjabi prison match is back. And if anybody remembers anything about the old Punjabi matches, they both sucked. Uh, I'm sure it's only been brought back just so they can sell the the toy line version of it again. Um, I'm not excited for this match. The only thing that's making me excited for it is it's probably going to be the end of this feud, which it should be. Orton's feuded now for five months straight, six months straight in the main event picture. Before I was gender, it was with Bray. He's had his run. Uh, and the run before that, he had the belt. So, you know, unless SmackDown's being built around Randy Orton again, Randy Orton should not be winning this match. Um, Jinder Mahal as champion does not bother me whatsoever. I can't even say I was a fan of his before, but his gimmick is working out. I like his entrance music. He's fresh. It's something new. And I want to see this championship, uh, his reign, keep going at least for now. Uh, it's not old to me. Uh, and uh, I want to I see it progress. So, and I think a lot of people think this way. I think Jinder Mahal is going to win this. Uh, and that is what I'm calling. I'm calling Jinder Mahal over Randy Orton. Sorry, Orton. Okay, well, that's it for now, guys. Hit like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Hit the notification button. Uh, all that good stuff. Look for my live results video on Sunday. Um, maybe I'll have a video out in between that. I don't know. Like I said, I got a lot of stuff to review. Uh, but that's it for now, guys. Mad Viking out. Catch you next time.